kitchen hay. Too much hay. What are you nightmare? <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. Must have been a doozy. I couldn't keep up. In my suit. Your good blue suit? In the hay? It was a dream. It's crazy. I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah. Yeah, here. Go. Go back to sleep. Richmond P. Hobson Jr., Panhandle Phillips, and Gloria McIntosh Hobson were real people. And for a short period of time, in the wilderness halfway between Vancouver and the Yukon, they worked to carve out the largest cattle ranch in the world. That part is true. I can smell fall in the air. Better the outhouse needs another dose of lime. I thought we said this is your favorite time of year. Round up and then drive into town. Yeah, time of year you find out your cattle are selling for less than it costs to raise them. Well, well, you'll get here. Went to water the horses and found me a blacksmith. Good morning, Ned. Ned. You must have broke camp early to get here by this time. I figured I could skip breakfast, seems that Tommy Aikens makes the best biscuits on the Blackwater. Uh... Meaning no disrespect, Miss Hobson. You won't get any argument from me, Ned. Unfortunately, uh, I'm sorry to have to tell you, but uh, Tommy broke his leg. We had to put him down. Gloria's cooking now. You don't say. Somebody call me? Oh, morning, Mr. Bartley. <laughs> I was just saying how I was going to trade this your stack of mail for a couple of your bacon powder biscuits. Oh, God, we haven't any mail in ages. Hey. Well, come on in and sit yourself down. Great. He's here early. Get the fire started, start pulling together the remuda. Bill, lawyers, business, bill, <sighs> bank. Ooh, a letter for me. Bill, bill, bill. Ooh, a letter for Gloria on very expensive stationery from Vancouver. Bill, something official, and New York. That'd be your mum, Rich. Be winner and still champion. Why does this always end up on my plate? Well, you handle the paperwork part. I've told you I'm willing to do it. Yeah, but I'd still have to worry about it. And if you had a dog, would you have to bark, too? Whatever that means, if you want a break from the business, I can handle it. You know, you should uh, put that off. I mean, there's hardwood to be cut and charcoal to be made for Ned's forge. You can shuffle them papers tonight. And what's preventing you from swinging an axe? You said it yourself. I got to bring that bunch down from the Pinoyer Meadow. Pull the remuda together. Thought you were going to round up those horses. Yeah, to make sure you get this charcoal right. If we keep Ned waiting, he's going to charge us extra. Not to mention eat us out of house and home. Mr. Phillips, Spandaminio has gone through all the hay that we put up for him. Got the dead bull at Archie Divine pond off on you? Not me. He took advantage of a couple of kids while I was down with the influenza. <laughs> Jeez, the gang down at Fraser sure had a good laugh over that one. Oh, well, now that makes me feel better, knowing that our misfortunes have provided entertainment for the community. Kit, the hay in the east field should be dry. Why don't you rake that up and give it to the bull? This hay rake ain't going nowhere. These right there snap clean in, too. Yeah, I, I see that. I could fix it. Oh, I'm sure you could. That'd be $10 extra. And probably take me most of half the day. 
Whatever you say. Lucky I was here. Lucky for who? So, uh, when's lunch? Your cattle are in my meadow again. If you do not remove them forthwith, I shall fire upon them. If you're talking about gunplay, may I point out that you present one of the larger targets hereabouts, livestock included. I do not have to sit here and be the recipient of your abuse. No, you could step down and be the recipient of my boot up your well-upholstered arse. Look, we'll push those beeves out first light tomorrow. See that you do. You can't blame them beeves. They're used to grazing on that land. Well, we don't own it anymore, so we got to keep the fences mended. There's no way I can explain to that cattle that you sold Stony Meadow. Hell, I can barely explain it to myself. Are we going to go over ancient history here, or are we going to chop wood? I got a pack. Going horse hunting no more. Away from the front lines. We'll Mail's right there beside the radio. The United States government to join in the fight against the Nazis, believing that victory will ultimately be determined by manpower. Appealing directly to President Roosevelt, Prime Minister Mackenzie King warned in an address today that the Nazi menace is drawing ever closer to this hemisphere into a picture of what he called the world-encircling danger of Nazi domination. Here at home, the first effects of the recently imposed War Measures Act are being felt. The government has, for the first time in history, set limits on wages and prices in order to combat them. Are you feeling okay? Oh, sure. Anything you'd like to say to me? Like what? Oh, I don't know. Something about the hypnotic effect of unopened mail? There's no point in opening it, really. It's just bills we can't afford to pay. Pick one. Anyone. That way you'll feel like you're making progress, but it won't be too much at once. Well, this one's from the bank in Vanderhoof about our loan. This one's from the vet. This is what we owe at Franklin's. This is taxes. This is from the Ministry of Agriculture. Probably some new regulation they made up or some form we have to fill out. This is from the Department of Education. This one's not even addressed to you, Mrs. R. Hobson. There you go. That's the one we're going to open tonight. Uh, doesn't count, but you've got one less already. Doesn't that make you feel better? No. I am sick and tired of pushing paper for petty government bureaucrats. Remember when they told Stan Mackey he'd have to have the whole herd inoculated? He said all his heifers were Protestant and wouldn't be changing religions. We already heard the story. Don't bark at me just because you're behind on your work. This is the information that we need for starting the school. Curriculum requirements, book lists. Well, I imagine Olivia should see that. I could run that up there tomorrow for you if you like. Oh, you sure that's not out of your way? I'm just trying to help out. What with Rich behind on his work and all. I'm not behind on my work. Maybe I'll just put the rest of these away. Rich? 